know, and um, and we don't we don't do that here because we can conveniently tell parents and players that you've made it and you've made it at ten because we tell you. I mean, we've had a club in in the area tell nine year old kids, nine ten year old kids from my club that if they did not come over to their club now, that they would never play at college. This is nine ten year old kids. I mean, what are you doing to what you know? What is what? Are, what are you thinking first when you make that statement? Uh, and two, uh, put in the fear of 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 development in 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 young kids at at nine ten years old. I just don't understand it. You know, we we there are clubs that are sending parents and coaches around to tournaments to to talk to coach to talk to parents and players about coming over. I mean, I don't. It is so bizarre and so obscene to me that uh, that there hasn't been a, um, a a greater reaction to to the way that clubs are, are are treating players it's so sad and it's really common and i don't think a lot of people are talking about this the poaching of players from other clubs and it's usually the young ones it's usually like the nines tens and elevens and they're telling these young kids that if they don't switch to a higher level team now, they're going to fall behind by the time they're in high school and they're never going to make ECNL or like you said, they're never going to play in college, which is such a lie. It's so frustrating. And if any of these coaches know anything about child development, I mean, a nine-year-old, you don't know who's going to be good. They haven't gone through their growth spurt yet. So how can you tell these kids whether they're going to be good or bad? It's just... It's mind blowing to me, and it's really frustrating that this is so common. Well, and and parents have to also take responsibility, Erica. Mm-hmm. You know, parents, and and I understand the fear of missing out, and I understand that you want your best for your kids and all that kind of stuff. But you, you know, in in other in American sports, you can you can look at players and you can say, well, he can either play football or he cannot play football. He can either they can she can play. Softball, or she can because it's the 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 skills is evident. In soccer, you can you can take a nine and ten year old girl who is mobile, or boy, and just say, well, you 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 are very very good. But the development of the of the game, the understanding of the game, is still years and years away. But that kid has already been told, you have made it. So so the parents buy into the uh, into the the BS, the kid walks around thinking that he's made it. Um, and uh, and the end result is Morocco beating USA under 23s for nothing when we spend billions of dollars on youth soccer in this country versus a small country like Morocco. Uh, and they 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 beat us. And you know, there's no uproar, there's no there's no inquiry into this kind of stuff. And yet, because the the game at the bottom suits the majority of people, the game at the bottom suits the big clubs. They're making money. They, they don't have to worry about the national team. They don't have to worry about pros. They don't have to worry about anything because everything at the bottom is working fine. Now, I have a question for you about ECNL and college recruiting. and. I got a lot of online pushback for this one, but a couple months ago, I made a video talking about how, at least for the younger ages, that the acronym doesn't matter. As long as you have a great coach, you're having fun, you love your teammates, you are where you need to be. You don't need to be chasing a a worthless acronym. And then I get a bunch of comments from people, well, the ECNL showcases have the most college coaches and they get the most exposure and we want our kid to play top 25 D1. Okay. I get going to a showcase when you're 15 or 16 years old, but to play ECNL so young, I don't know. I mean, you can wait a little bit longer, but I just don't think it's necessary. Well, let, let, let's just take a scenario because we've, we've been to all those showcases with, with my team. So the game of soccer is X, right? So you, you are on the field and you're, you're, your coaches have said, well, we've got to go to East and our showcase because there are hundreds of coaches out there. 
you haven't done your homework, you haven't introduced yourself to coaches, the co you haven't sent videos, you haven't done any of that work, and then you believe that you can go on the field and play a game when the average time that a player is involved in the game is three minutes, and you hope that those three minutes that you are playing, that some coach, random coach that's walking around the field is going to say, yeah, I like you. Mm -hmm. And then you believe that there is a full ride. And I think, and again, look, parents are being, have been scammed and, 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 and all, all these years. There are only X amount of scholarships available across the board. The parents are not aware of that. The parents are not aware that they are only X amount and that they may only get a quarter of a scholarship or a half a scholarship or maybe no, no, no scholarships. And there is a cost to go to that school. So, you know, academics is, is a huge part of, of, of finding the school, but it's not based on your ability because most kids that are go to these, these showcases, if they do their own homework, will find themselves a school somewhere to go play at. But you know, it's 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 not the the it's not the the success of the clubs because in order for a club to convince parents and players that you've got to come to us, you've got to put the lie there that if you don't come to us, you're not going to play college soccer. And yet, if you look across the board, top twenty five uh, uh, schools, and you look at the number of foreigners that are now playing. In those in those leagues, in those clubs, those those, those schools, you look at the current uh, recruiting through the portal, through junior college, a high school kid today, unless you are national team level, mm -hmm. top twenty five, is only a dream. It's only a dream. 